Welcome to our newest episode of Trending Tuesdays with Trend Micro. I'm your host, Ankita, working as a pre sales consultant at Trend Micro. Today's topic is vulnerability assessment and prioritization. In the topic on risk insights, my colleague Amar talked about Executive Dashboard app, which gives us an overview information about an organization's overall risk index. What is risk index? It is a function of two variables, the likelihood of an attacker gaining access to your environment and the potential impact of such an event. We calculate it using three factors, attack risks, exposure risks, and security configuration risks. In today's episode, we will focus on exposure risks, which results from the vulnerabilities residing in your environment. I'm going to demonstrate to you how we assess the vulnerabilities, how we prioritize them, and how we can help you to mitigate them. But before that, let's try to understand what it means for an organization to manage vulnerabilities. Exploiting more vulnerabilities to compromise an organization is a common tactic used by attackers. Whether it is internal blue, hard bleed, or most recently zero account, attackers have been known to take advantage of the newly disclosed vulnerabilities. But even with thousands of newly disclosed vulnerabilities every year, the reality is that only so many get weaponized into attacks and exploits. Businesses now have to rethink their entire patch management strategy because of the rapid rise in the number of known vulnerabilities as well as shrinking time window from patch to exploit. Businesses have to decide what they want to patch now and what can wait. With this, let's jump into our Vision One console and talk more about vulnerabilities. So this is my Vision One console. Uh, I'm under Risk Insights app and Executive Dashboard. Uh, let me quickly go to the Exposure Overview tab. So right up front you see this numerical value which is your Exposure Index uh, which is based on the severity of threats in your environment and the likelihood of exploitation. On the right hand side you see a graph which is a timeline view of how this value has been changing over the last 30 days. You can also compare your rating with the other organizations in the similar region or same industry as well as with the same organization size. As you can see this value is higher than the averages. Uh, let me scroll down. So here we see our vulnerabilities tab. We have uh, internal assets as well as uh, internet facing assets. Internal assets are your internal endpoints or server devices. Internet facing assets are uh, the external IPs or domains that are not discovered over here. We use internal assets and internet facing assets to ex arrive at the exposure index. Now right at the center you see this uh, vulnerability assessment coverage. So 64% of the devices or assets are uh, having some vulnerability detection enabled on them and uh, 10 out of 20 devices do not have any visibility. If you want to have more uh, detailed view about those devices you can click here and you can see these are the 10 devices. You can also see the reason they are not visible. For example, the agent is not installed or the endpoint may not be connected to the network. Um, so now how do you make uh, sense out of all this? How do you put in prioritization here? So first and foremost, we need to have some metrics. Uh, a good starting point could be unique CVEs that are there in your environment. If you look at the screen, you see that uh, you have highly exploitable unique CVEs which are 3000 plus which is way above the global average. So this could be a very good starting point for you to, to have a, a KPI and that you can improve on. If you want to have more detailed view of this, you can click here and right here you can see the list of all the vulnerabilities. You can see the CVE score, you can see OS and application, you can see impact scope which is how many devices got affected with this CVE. You can also check if there is any prevention rule that is applicable to the CV. For example, this one has none, but the CV has six uh, prevention rules. You can also see the exploit attempts that have been made against this vulnerability. Uh, we have some other details such as you can sort by CV event or asset. You can also uh, check if the, a particular uh, CV is been acted upon if it is in progress, if it is new or closed. You can uh, copy paste your CV ID and search against it. Uh, again, we have uh, uh, you can import the third party data using some uh, vulnerability management tools such as Qualys, Nessus, Tenable. We integrate with these third party vulnerability management tools 
to bring you the most relevant information with respect to the vulnerabilities. You can also see when was the last assessment ran. You can pull out the report if you want to. Now at the back end, we leverage a zero day initiative, which is a vulnerability disclosure program. Uh, we identify and disclose the newly uh, dis available vulnerabilities for various platforms. Uh, we analyze your environment using global activity data, CV information and local activity detection. Now from here, if you want to deep dive into a CV, you can just click here and you see all the the related actions that are there. Let me go to another CV that has prevention rules. So this is a Windows search remote control execute uh, vulnerability. You can see all the attack, attack, detection and prevention rules that are applicable. You can see the solutions against which you can apply those rules. You can see certain mitigation actions. And if you want any external reference, you can just click on this advisory to deep dive further into the CV. If you want to see how many devices are affected, you can just click here and click on any of the devices. Let's say Trilogy PC2. Then you can also check uh, further details. For example, this is a Windows server and uh, you can check the uh, profile tag. So uh, profile tags give you more information about that asset. If you look at this, uh, vulnerabilities contribute the majority of the part for this asset. It's a high risk asset. So let me go back to my console. And the next very important metrics that we have is mean time to patch. So you can check how long you're taking to patch the vulnerabilities in your environment, how many days you're taking against the global average, and then again you can work to fix this or make it shorter than usual. We have some other relevant metrics such as average and patch time, endpoint percentage. So out of all the endpoints that are there in your environment, how many of them are having this highly exploitable CVE? Then you have something which is a CVE density, which tells you among all the devices that you are monitoring, how many of them have these highly exploitable CVEs. Again, if you see, this is way above the uh, average. Uh, so this again is something that uh, you would consider as a parameter to improve on the program risk the score then we also have uh, you know if you have legacy window systems in your environment then we can also give you the patches for that now from here how do we utilize this information and act on it to prioritize the vulnerabilities in your environment so what we can do is we have some inbuilt playbooks in our environment and uh, we can just have a look at the one with high or medium exploits so this is a, a windows os patch playbook you can configure notif email notifications you can open a ticket if you want you can uh, get a manual approval and then you can run this playbook you can also import as many scripts that uh, as you want so you can go here add a script uh, it could be a PowerShell script or a Bash script and then you can put it in the workflow or your playbook and then run it again a server or a group of servers or, or data centers so if, you want to, if you want to have an emergency patch you can just execute the playbook and get your systems patched. So we saw how we can do vulnerability prioritization, how we can take necessary remediation actions and how we can drastically reduce the mean time to patch. So that's all from my end. Hope you like the video. Stay tuned for our next episode.